And former USC Board of Governors Chair John Fennebrusk is out of jail tonight after investigators say he had a gun in his bag at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. He says he mistakenly left a gun in his bag after going to the gun range with his family over the weekend. Fennebrusk resigned as chair after leading the ouster of former President Tom Ross. And this comes as a new Board of Governors gathered for a retreat, the first with its new president. WNCS Bo Minnick is the only local TV reporter in Greensboro and he's live where things kicked off today, Bo. Sharon, the topic of Fennebresk's arrest did not come up at the retreat today. I did talk with a UNC system spokeswoman who told me only that he is no longer on the board. The focus of this current board is on Margaret Spellings at this point. Now, Margaret Spellings, she is set to take over as the new president of the UNC system. She has been the topic of controversy with demonstrators speaking out against her being hired. There were even arrests. Today, she spoke with board members explaining what she will do initially as president. I'm going to get about the campuses uh, in my first 100 days on the job. Uh, those are all scheduled. I know that I'll be seeing many of you around the state as well. These conversations are critical to laying a great foundation for governance. She and I have discussed at length our desire to make our meetings more transparent and to make it easier for the public to be heard by our board. <laughs> Spellings officially becomes president on March 1st. She's a former U.S. Education Secretary under President George W. Bush. Those opposed to her hiring are critical of her overseeing the initial launch of No Child Left Behind and for her time serving on a board that collects student loan debt. Now, Spellings did not take questions from reporters here today, though she is expected to do so tomorrow. We will be here at the Grandover Resort, and we'll tell you what she says. Live in Greensboro, Bo Minnick, WNCN News Now.